As a long-term AMD Team Red fan myself, it pains me just a little to tell you that one of the best CPUs you can get for streaming will be a current generation Intel K-Series. The main reason is for the QuickSync hardware encoder that come in those CPUs. Now, keep in mind that if you save, you know, $20 or so on a KF series, that does not come with that QuickSync encoder because it doesn't have an on-chip GPU. So whenever you're in the market, be sure to spend that extra $20 or so to add an additional GPU to your system because that's what you're doing. A lot of people run NVIDIA GPUs. Now, many people, including myself, have touted the benefits of NV Inc in OBS because of this dedicated encoding hardware in the GPUs. But if you'll notice, whenever you're streaming or gaming, you can feel a difference between the frame rates whenever you're streaming versus not streaming. That's because the encoder is still using bandwidth, memory, and other resources to do that job. So it's always helpful to have as many resources as you can such as an extra GPU that you can use just for encoding. This is also helpful for whenever you want to stream and record at the same time. You can set one workload to NV Inc. while the other workload is set to Intel QuickSync. This comes at very little to no cost in resource uses for your CPU. Some other common misconceptions is that QuickSync quality isn't as good as X264 or NV Inc. If you'll remember, not too many generations ago, we had the same issue with NV Inc. NV Inc. just could not keep up with the quality that a good CPU X264 could give you. And some would still debate that today, but that gap has been narrowed quite a bit with advancements. Same thing has happened with Intel. Intel has constantly, generation over generation, improved their quick sync encoding. At the time of this video, the current 13th generation of Intel CPUs is incredible with the included GPU encoding that they have. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks.